Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, refreshed and inspired. Now, if my videos are important to your studies, then also don't forget to subscribe. By the method of least work, determine the support reactions, EI is constant. So here is the figure. I already solved this by the method, the force method, this time by the method of least work. So this is indeterminate to the first degree. I select RA as the redundant. So since we shift section to C later, so I will express R sub C or CY in terms of RA. So that's RB and that's our CY. CX is zero of force. And these are our section length, then we shift to C, then here, for simplicity. So CY times L 14, sorry. CY times 8, summation moment B, sorry, plus 30 times 6 times 3 equals RA times 6 plus 50 times 5. So expressing CY in terms of RA, CY equals 0.75 of RA minus 36.25. So partial delta A, which is partial of work U with respect to RA equals zero because A is a support that does not yield. So EI delta A equals EI partial of U with respect to RA equals integral of RA X minus 15x square derivative x dx from 0 to 6 then plus integral of cy which is quantity 0.75 ra minus 36.25 times x the derivative with respect to r is 0.75 x dx from 0 to 3 and finally from integral of 0 to 5 of cy which is Quantity 0.75 RA minus 36.25 times 3 plus X minus 50 X. The derivative is 0.75 of 3 plus X DX. The value of the first integral separating integral of RA, integral of X squared DX and the constant is 72 RA minus 4860. The value of the second integral first for RA then for the constant is 81 over 16 RA minus 3915 over 16. Then for the third integral, 0.75 of 3 plus X, quantity square for RA 0 to 5. And for the constants, negative integral of negative 36.25 3 plus X minus 50 X times 0.75 of 3 plus X. The result is 1455 RA over 16 minus 117825 over 16. So combining RAs and the constants equate to zero, then we have 168RA minus 12468.75 equals zero. From here, RA can now be computed. It is equal to 74.219 kilonewtons. Substitute RA into CY to solve for CY. 0.75 of 74.217 minus 36.25. So CY is equal to 19.414 kilonewtons then finally for rb we may sum up forces vertical but let's have a summation of moment about c equals zero so ra 74.219 times 14 plus rb times 8 equals 30 times 6 times 11 then plus 50 times 3 so r sub b equals uh, 136.67 kilonewtons. So to verify these answers, you sum up forces vertical and it should be zero.